as his fingers softly fall upon my face. just have a hoop skirt on underneath it and it's really comfortable because when it swishes and sways there's nothing rubbing your legs I like that but anyway um, a little bit about myself um, I'll be 61 in April I grew up in Arkansas bit cotton um, my husband and I were a blind date and on our first date, I had on a full dress, and my soon-to-be husband went crazy over it. I guess I created a monster, because now he wants me to dress in the fullest petticoats that I can get on. And some of them, I can't even get out the door in, you know? And that's really bad. And then if you sit down and they fly up in your face, what else do you do? You know, it's embarrassing. But anyway, um, he really didn't want me to wear this dress because he said it ain't full enough. So I almost had to put him in the bedroom and confine him to a straight back chair. Because if I have these clothes, I want to wear them. You know, I have to be a little different, wear a little different style. But after we met, six months later we were married and we're celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary, the 17th of January. He celebrates his 62nd birthday on the 18th, and we are going to go to Florida, uh, Lauderdale by the Sea, for two weeks. And um, another big celebration that we are having is my husband fully retired on the 31st of December. He has three children. I have three children, two boys and a girl, and my oldest son is uh, 42 years old. I, you know. And I'm a great grandmother twice. I try to keep my looks about me. I don't know. One of these days, I know it'll all go to hell in a handbag. But while I've got the stamina to do it, I try to look young because I feel young inside. But anyway, I hope you like that song that I just did, and uh, we'll get it uploaded. But uh, I just wish everybody the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> 